What's going on everyone? Admissions Counselor Curtis Volker here to take you on a campus tour with our beautiful campus here in Somerdale, Pennsylvania. Follow me. So right now we are in the ATEC building and ATEC stands for Advanced Technology Education Center. This is kind of like our headquarters on campus, if you will, with the majority of our classes, faculty and staff offices being held here in this building. There's three floors to this building, relatively new, built around the early 2000s. And there's one special place I want to show you on the top floor here in the ATEC building. It's right down here. It's very important for all students. It is our College of Office Advancement. It holds our Education Foundation and our Office of Alumni Engagement. Our Education Foundation is its own separate 501c3 nonprofit, and its sole purpose is to raise money for student scholarships. All students here at Central Penn have the opportunity to be awarded scholarship money through the Education Foundation. The Alumni Engagement Office is also important because it's an office that can help partner you with a Central Penn graduate. Maybe you meet for lunch or you shadow them and see a really a day in the life. What is it like being a Central Penn grad with my specific degree? So, as a Central Penn student, make sure you introduce yourself and get to know the awesome people in the College uh, Office of College Advancement. Now, we're going to head downstairs to the second or main floor of the ATEC building, and there are a couple key points I want to share in this area as well. The first one we're going to go to is the office of our college president, Dr. Karen Scalfaro. And I think it's so awesome that the college president's office is right here in the heart of campus. So we're right on the main floor. You simply walk down this hallway. Now, we're not going to be heading in because you know she's working hard right now, but I want to show you guys where this is. It's literally a couple steps down this hallway, and there it is, Office of the President, Dr. Karen Scalfaro, again, right here in the heart of campus. We're going to turn around here. I'm going to show you the main lobby door where the registration desk is. So if you're coming in for a campus visit or a special event, this is where you'd come in and sign in. So we have the front door to our ATEC building right off of Valley Road. We have Teria here. You can sign in and check in with Teria. And also, if you're a commuter student, we do have lockers available. So if you don't necessarily have a super suite or an apartment to put your backpack or your notebook or a change of clothes for working out later, you can have a commuter locker here to help you out with that. And right outside, plenty of parking. So if you do have a car, you're living on campus, and you want to drive to class that morning or that afternoon, plenty of parking right out front. Now, let's head to the other hallway in the second floor of ATEC. This is where we have a majority of our health-related laboratories. So the first one you're going to see is the PTA lab, and PTA stands for Physical Therapy Assisting. So let's check this out. Here it is, our Physical Therapy Assisting lab. A little bit different than a typical classroom you might see in a college or a high school. If you take a look at this, these are the students' desks, massage tables. There are massage components to this program. You're also going to see gym equipment. Our buddy Fred right here, give a nice little wave. STEM machines, basically all the tools you would need to be successful in your future career right here every day for you in the classroom, our PTA lab. Right next to it, we're going to check out our applied science lab. And this has a little bit of a different look to it as well. So literally right next door, and there's a class in session. Our applied, applied science lab is used throughout our medical programs. You may have specific labs, clinicals, even dissections for muscular system, cell, skeletal system in here as well. So again, a very hands-on approach to what we offer here at Central Penn. Not just textbooks, not just PowerPoints, providing you the tools to be successful in your future careers. And right down here, we have our medical assisting lab. And this medical assisting lab is made to look like a mock doctor's office. And if there is not a class in session, you're going to see what I mean by this. Perfect. So right when you walk in, you have the waiting room area, read a magazine, wait for the doctor to call you. You have the receptionist desk. And then once you're called in, some familiar things start to pop up on this room. You see the basic eye chart. You see the centrifuge. 
And there's a spot where students are actually taking blood in this program. So if you're considering medical assisting and you don't do, do too well with blood, then maybe something you want to consider for that future career field. So as a nice mesh or a nice combination of real world experience with the classroom set. And we'll take it one step further. I'm sure a place that we have all been familiar with an observation room here. It looks just like the doctor's office. Maybe you have a sports physical or a checkup. Again, a very familiar sight. Sit here, go through different observations, tongue depressors, cotton swabs, the stethoscope, the whole nine yards. Again, all here to prepare you for that future career. So this was our medical assisting laboratory. And this pretty much takes care of the main laboratories on the second floor of ATEC. We're gonna save the third floor of ATEC for a little bit end, a little bit towards the end of the tour. Because you're actually gonna see that the tour path we take is gonna be a nice little loop or a figure eight. Our campus is so easy to navigate, you should really never get lost. I'm gonna share with you a little bit later one little navigation tip to help you with campus if maybe you're a newer student and you're saying to yourself, wait, where am I? I'm not quite sure. Did I take a wrong turn? My tip's going to help you get back to where you need to be. So this wraps up our second floor of ATEC. Now we're going to take across the bridge. Yes, you heard it correctly. We're going to be walking across the bridge. You're going to see what I mean here in a couple moments. It's a beautiful day here in sunny Somerdale. The weather's fantastic. And I always love the spring and summertime when the trees are in full bloom, especially the view over the bridge. It feels like I'm in Jurassic Park. It feels like I'm walking through the, the treetops. It just has a really nice feel to it. So you see this big golden bridge coming up here. There's something interesting about this bridge. It's considered to be a historical bridge from the year 1869. It's called Henzies Bridge. And the college got the bridge at an auction for a special price. And this is a trivia question we ask all visiting students and visiting families. So you can see in here that it's a pretty solid bridge, okay? It's a big bridge. I want you to guess, how much do you think the college got the bridge for at the auction? Think about it. Pretty substantial weight, it's wrought iron, it's historical, it's from 1869. If you guessed $22, you would be correct. So next time you spend about $20, you can say to yourself, could have just bought a bridge. Moat and alligator, not included. All right, so Henji's Bridge, walking across to the other half of campus. Beautiful campus here at Central Penn, nicely laid out. Small school, laid out campus, but it's, again, easy to navigate. Now, as we're coming off the bridge here, you're going to start to see a more scenic area as well. We like to call this the quad. This is kind of like the heart of our campus. So right in this general area, we have campus clubs and activities. We have around 25 of them here at Central Penn that do cookouts, fundraisers, different food events. There's a reoccurring theme. Most of our events here offer some type of food. So if you're ever looking for a quick snack on the way to class, always check out the quad. Our career services department in Bollinger Hall, they also sometimes give out free cookies, free lemonade, maybe soft pretzels some days. So always check out the quad first. Also a nice little spot, you're gonna see different benches to sit and study, relax, de-stress, okay? So very scenic, beautiful part of campus right here. Now I want you to stop and take a look here because Central Penn was originally founded on Market Street in Harrisburg, okay? In 1970, Central Penn's campus was brought to this location. In 1970, this was the original building, okay? You see Milano Hall. This is where all the classes were held. This is where all the faculty and staff offices were, the president's office, all held in this one building. And if we could just take a 360 view, if you will, you see that building has extended. We have ATEC. We also have Bollinger Hall, okay? So campus has grown quite a bit over the past couple of decades. In Bollinger Hall, we have our Office of Residence Life. We have our security office, which holds 24-7 security personnel on campus at all times. So there's always someone here for you. No matter if it's a holiday, snowstorm, the apocalypse, anything, there's always someone here on campus to help you out. We also have our student courtroom. So our legal studies students actually go through mock trials and debates here to get that real world experience. 
Upstairs in Bollinger Hall, we have our career services department to help you with building your resume, cover letter, and practice your interviewing skills. Let's keep walking a little bit more through campus. Again, nice scenic sight. You're gonna see some more chairs to rest, relax, and study with. And there's a couple big buildings here. You're gonna see the main buildings surrounding the pool are our upperclassmen apartments. And what makes the apartments unique from the freshman super suites are that the apartments come with a full kitchen. And that includes a fridge, a, a sink, a stove, an oven. So if you wanna bake a cake, a chocolate cake at 10 o'clock at night, you could do that in the upperclassmen apartments, okay? Our library, we have 20,000 books physically in the library. We have five times as many available online, so you should always be able to find exactly what you're looking for. We also have TV shows, movies, video games, board games, laptops, iPads, Kindles, all these things you can take out as a student should you need them for different resources. Again, very scenic view here, very beautiful day on campus. We have our outdoor pool. It's only about four and a half feet deep, so some of you may not need floaties. We do a number of different events and programming at the pool. We've had dances, movie nights, luau's, cookouts, and tie-dyeing shirt events, all here in the pool area. We do have some charcoal grills. If you maybe want to grill up some burgers or hot dogs for dinner one night, you can do that as well. Now, we're gonna take a loop around the corner, and we're actually gonna go behind the apartments, and campus is gonna open up so much more than you probably could have ever imagined here. Before we get there though, there's some other things I wanna share with you. You're gonna to start to see in the next couple of frames, there's gonna be a couple cars. So all students can bring their car to campus for free. Whether you're a residential student or a commuter student, we do not charge students to bring their car or park their car on campus. So we encourage you to bring your car. Okay, so that's something you wanna keep in mind. Plenty of parking here in this area for everyone. Now, as we turn the corner, you're going to start to see some more of our recreational spots on campus. We have our sand volleyball court, we have an outdoor basketball court, we also have a fenced-in multi-sport court, and I'll let you guys see those in just a couple of seconds. Again, plenty of parking, three-tiered parking lots right out back, and here we start to see our volleyball court, our basketball court, and right up top, our multi-sport court. These are typically used mostly after classes, after your homework, after your studying's done, and this place gets packed with different events, different pickup games going on. In the multi-sport court, we've had dodgeball, we've had street hockey, we've had tennis, we even had a water balloon battle with professors for students. Now, imagine being able to peg your professor with a water balloon. How great would that feel? Keep in mind, they get to peg you back, okay? Now here's the next big section of campus that I said was really just gonna blow your mind that you probably did not know was out here. Our student fellowship area. Very scenic, very natural, very quiet, very relaxing. This is all campus, all here for you. So maybe you wanna study, maybe you have a video to watch for class, you can do that all throughout this area. Just take a moment and really look at this scenic view. And our Wi-Fi on campus connects everywhere. So if you want to bring a little blanket, make yourself a little picnic out back here with a nice summer breeze, you can do that. You can connect online, access all your classes, watch the videos you need to do for class, or even just simply relax and watch a movie on your personal time. You can do that all here in the Student Fellowship area. A pretty cool piece of history I want to show you. And it's tucked right down here behind the trees. And we'll go check it out. Again, this is all still part of campus. We're gonna come up on an old farmhouse. And this old farmhouse plays a lot of significance to Central Penn and its history. So we're gonna walk across a mini bridge. We don't have a trivia question of how much that costs, but it's a mini bridge to get to this old farmhouse here. You're also gonna see a red barn. Also plays a little bit of, of significance here with Central Penn for the future. 
So we have two landmarks here representing past and the future. So let's learn a little bit more. We're starting to come up on the, on the farmhouse here. And this farmhouse is called the Boyer House. So I mentioned earlier that campus was not always at this location. The land that campus is now on was formerly owned by the Boyer family who owned and lived in this house. The Boyer House is now owned by the Enola Historical Society, one of the towns that Central Penn is located within. So you can actually schedule your own personal tour with the Boyer House to learn more about the history of the town of Enola. There's a big train yard that helped with the founding of the town, so we still have this on campus. Again, Wi-Fi stretches back there. Our students have done homework on the back porch. You can set up a nice little blank blanket by the creek here if you're looking for more of that scenic type experience. There's also a field to the right of the Boyer House, right over there, and we paint that up for flag football, for intramural sports, for soccer kick arounds, again, more recreational type things. Now, I mentioned the Red Barn and the future of Central Penn. What right across the street, the college was just gifted land. We're looking into building brand new athletic facilities for the campus. That's a project that's ongoing right now. But again, campus could be growing even bigger and better. So again, check this out. Don't be afraid to utilize this. It's okay to step outside of your suite or your apartment room, get out there and see what Central Penn's campus has to offer. Now, let's keep the tour moving. There's tons more to see. We're gonna walk right back up this path and everything is well put together in terms of proximity to each other, distance. All of our classes are held in one spot on the Somerdale campus, so you don't necessarily have to drive 10 blocks to a different building. It's not like an inner city type college or university. All the classes would be only a five minute walk within the buildings, okay? So you wanna keep that in mind as well. So if you're someone who likes to sleep in, or maybe you're someone who hits the snooze button a little bit too much and you find yourself running late a lot, a smaller campus like this may benefit you because it's just a quick jog or quick run to your upcoming class. Now, right up here, you're going to see our student amphitheater. And this holds a lot of different purposes and uses as well. So you're going to see a bonfire pit there. We'll have bonfires, we can roast hot dogs, we can make s'mores. We've also had live music events with the bonfire pit there as well. Tons of seating right up there. If it's a nice day like today, you may have a class out here with one of your professors. In our PTA program I mentioned earlier, physical therapy assisting, they had a unit where they were learning about yoga. So they actually had yoga mats, colorful yoga mats surrounding the bonfire pit. And there's a really cool picture they took right up top of the hill, up top, really good view here, shedding down across the bonfire pit with the colorful mats. Just a totally awe-inspiring photo. Something so simple, but it looks so cool. So again, utilize these spaces. These are resources for you. Now, you may have noticed the path I'm walking on is a little bit darker than some of the other pavement you've seen throughout the video. Here's my tip for navigating. You're gonna see here shortly, we're gonna be making a loop or a figure eight, if you will. If you're ever lost on campus, just follow the colored path and it'll bring you right back to where you need to be. And you're going to see what I'm talking about in just a few moments. We're literally going to come back right back to where we started. So if you haven't seen it yet, take a good look now. This is what the colored path looks like. This is what I've been walking on this whole time. Follow this. It's kind of like the yellow brick road, but it's a little bit darker. You can hear that. It's very quiet, very relaxing. But in 10 or 15 minutes in any direction from where our campus is located, it is a completely different town with its own shopping its own nightlife. There are three different malls 10 to 15 minutes away. So if you're looking for some shopping, we definitely have it in this area. And here we are. If you remember the two chairs we walked by at first, we literally just made a big loop. Now, the tour's not done. There's even more awesome stuff to check out. The next one we're going to is one of my favorite spots on campus. I'm a Central Penn graduate, and we didn't necessarily have this spot that I'm about to show you when I was here studying as a student. So that's why I think it's so cool that our future students and incoming students now have this opportunity. Now, a little bit of a further walk, but again, it's right past things we've been to. Again, very easy to navigate, all very accessible. Walk right back through the quad. Some things you want to keep in mind about Central Penn. We go year-round. We have accelerated terms. We have terms in the spring, 
summer, winter, and fall. We operate with 11 weeks of classes, and then you have a two week break. So, you have 11 weeks of classes, two weeks off. 11 weeks of classes, two weeks off. And it goes like that year round. That's how you potentially could earn a four year bachelor's degree in as little as three years plus your internship. Let that sink in. Think about that. I personally in high school, did not want to be in school any more than I had to. That's what one of the big things that attracted me to Central Penn was potentially earning my degree a year quicker, okay? We also only have classes Tuesday through Friday. So you get a three day weekend every weekend. You're off every Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So maybe you have a part-time job back home. You could potentially keep that part-time job. Maybe you find one on campus. Maybe you find one in the media area. Maybe you're gonna be an athlete for Central Penn. You're gonna play a sport for the college. Practices and games take up a lot of time with your busy schedule. Having that Monday off could be an extra day to study, extra day to sleep in, extra day to work out and get better for the upcoming season. All the things you wanna think about in addition to your academics and your major. So, we're back to that $22 bridge, Hendy's Bridge. We're gonna turn right down here to visit the underground, okay? What's unique about the underground is that our current students were involved in the creation process for this space. They got to help choose the style, the colors, the furniture, what exactly was going into the rooms. And I think that's so important to share is that at Central Penn, this is your school. You have a voice. You could share what you're looking for, what you need to be successful as a student. Now, we're gonna head on into the underground and check out some of the spaces that we have available to you. All right. So, we've entered the underground. We have our theater here, the Capitol Blue Cross Theater, 200 seat theater. We use this for a number of different performance pieces, for dramas, for plays. We've had the Harrisburg Symphony Orchestra performing here. We've used it for a farmer's market. We've used it for school dances, movie nights, tons of different purposes. Our theater program is really taking off. So if we have any actors, actresses, singers watching the video right now, consider it. Keep it in mind. We definitely want you to try out to get involved with our theater program. Now, this isn't the only thing in the underground. Let's take a walk around the corner here. How you doing, everyone? Hey, good. Uh, How's it going? We're doing a live campus tour. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> so, we've got our student lounge here. You can come in, watch TV shows, movie nights, video game tournaments are huge here on campus. You can even write your name up on the, on the chalkboard there. A lot of people like to put their social media info there, so if you're trying to get some extra followers, definitely the spot to do it. Play some air hockey. We're getting ready for what looks like a recycling drive here. Maybe you try to join student government. Maybe you run for student government association president. You potentially could have your own office as a student here on campus. How awesome would that be? Now, I'm gonna show you my favorite part of the underground. It's right around the corner here. And my favorite spot of the underground is our Greenleaf Fitness Center. So in between classes, after your classes are done for the day, you can come in here, get a good run in, get a lift in, whatever works for you. And one of the unique things about a smaller campus, a smaller school is you're probably gonna have some professors or deans or faculty or staff members working out right along beside you. So think about this. I know a lot of times when we were younger, we used to think, oh wow, my fourth grade teacher, she probably lives in her classroom, she lives in the school. And we grow up and realize that's not the case anymore. Our faculty, our staff members, our professors, they all have families and lives just like we do. So it's just another way for us to connect outside of the classroom and build that one-on-one -on -one relationship with these people. So great way to do it through working out. My favorite spot in the underground here. And right next door, we have the Scalfaro Dance Studio. We've had Zuba Nights. We're starting a pound class here for different cardio exercises. We've also had self-defense courses and our baseball team last year used this space for yoga to keep limber and stretch out for the upcoming season. So again, another space with a lot of different uses. If you're someone who likes to, to dance, whether it's for fun, whether it's competition, definitely utilize this resource. All 
right, so we've got the underground here. Tons of opportunity to get involved, whether it's with a club, activity, sport, and mural activity. But again, make sure you're getting those studies done, you're acing those tests and quizzes, and keeping that GPA up so you can continue to be involved with those awesome activities. So we're gonna step outside here. And we're gonna take a short walk up this little hill here. Now, I mentioned the upperclassmen apartments. On the other half of campus, we have our brand new renovated super suites, okay? Our super suites are for our incoming freshmen. Each freshman gets their own room. There are seven students in each suite. Now, keep in mind, the super suite does not come with a kitchen like the upperclassmen apartment. You will be provided a microwave and a mini fridge for the entire suite. You can also bring your own microwave and mini fridge for your own personal room. You can bring your TV, you can bring your Xbox, your PlayStation, your gaming system, your DVD player, whatever it may be. Okay, so how awesome is it that as a college freshman, you potentially have your own room when you start out? That's unheard of. In addition to having your car on campus for free, that's a one-two punch right there, guys. That's an awesome combination. Again, just like my tip that if you follow the colored path, you can always get back to where you need to be. All of campus is on this side of College Hill Road. Again, makes it very easy to navigate, very accessible. Now, we're gonna turn the corner, and again, make another loop, bringing us right back to our A-Tech building, Advanced Technology Education Center. And as we walk down there, we're gonna see the super suites up here in the corner. We can show you an outside view, if you will. Watch for traffic here, okay. Plenty of parking on street. There are also parking lots in between each section of super suites. And again, newly renovated super suites. You would have a student ID card and you would actually swipe in, not a physical key to turn, a swipe card key that you'd use to enter the super suites. You'd have your own personal physical key for your own room. Okay? Now we're gonna make our way back to the ATEC building. And on our way, we won't be making a trip down there today, but we do have our health science building, okay? That's one of our newer academic buildings on campus, and that runs parallel to the super suites. And there's a short path I'll point out to you for that. It's coming right up here. Again, there seems to be a theme here. Just follow this simple path and you'll get to where you need to be. Just a simple walk, a simple path. The health science building is right out there. And I'll tell you what, we can actually take a quick walk up the path. We won't be entering the building today, but just so you get to see what it looks like and the location of it. Again, another nice scenic walk. Helps relax, helps de stress you with all the things going on throughout the day. College can be tough. There's a lot of time management involved. You also have your personal lives to factor in. So we understand that. In order to help out with those stresses throughout each day and throughout the term, throughout the year, Central Penn actually has counselors here on campus that you can meet with to help with your transition from high school to college. Or if there are some friend issues or some boyfriend girlfriend problems going on, we have counselors here to help you out with that, okay? Now, let's say you have more of an academic trouble. Every single student here at Central Penn is paired with an academic advisor, okay? So this may be a professor that you have day-to-day -day with classes, but being an academic advisor means that you're gonna have access to them with specific office hours, their work phone, and work email. So let's say one day you say to yourself, I didn't quite understand that PowerPoint in that lecture. I need some extra assistance. You go to your academic advisor during their office hours and chat about that. Maybe you're getting ready for your internship or getting ready to graduate. You're asking yourself, how can I become more employable? What are companies looking for in my field right now? All of our professors are former professionals in their field. Go to your academic advisor, sit down with them one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, personalized attention, and get those questions answered and taking a look at what do I need to be more employable in my field. Now, we're coming up on the health science building here in a little bit. Again, nice scenic walk. Again, plenty of parking. So if you 
don't feel like walking one day, you could in fact drive your car to the Health Science Building if you would like to. Very quiet area. The campus is located within Somerdale in Enola, Pennsylvania. Very resting, very relaxing here. There are about two to three different grocery stores within five or ten minutes. There are about three different gyms within five or ten minutes in addition to the fitness center we have on campus. So you really want to start to think about balance. How do I balance my academics? How do I balance clubs and activities? How do I balance potentially sports? How do you balance your physical, mental, and emotional health? So between the events we have on campus, between the counselors and support we provide here at Central Penn, between the different community events that are going on, you have a whole network of people here to help you with your experience, not just as a college student, but your experience as a Central Penn Knight. Now, it's starting to peek around the corner here. Brand New Health Science Building is making its presence known. We see the Stabler the Health Science Building sign right up there. Beautiful flowers out front. So not too far of a walk, but enough of a distance where it's a nice, relaxing getaway, if you will. So our Health Science Building right here, depending on your major, you may have some classes here, it is equipped with a bio lab and chem lab. So keep that in mind for those of you that may be watching that are interested in the medical field or health science field you'll potentially have, be having a number of classes in the health science building. So, quick turn around. We're gonna make our way back to the ATEC building to wrap up our campus tour. So, you may be wondering also, what is the makeup of the student body at Central Penn? We have about 1,400 students enrolled at Central Penn overall. Our classroom ratio is 16 to one. So that means, on average, for every professor, there's about 16 students in each class. So if you're looking for a smaller school with that one-on-one -on -one personalized attention, we would be a great fit. But besides the numbers, what else does the student body of Central Penn look like? We are a very diverse campus, a very diverse school. We, in fact, even though we're a smaller school in Central Pennsylvania, we have a number of students from all around the world. We have students from multiple different countries. We've had students from Bosnia, from China. We've had students from India. So just imagine the classroom discussions, the experiences you're going to have in an in-class, on-ground Central Penn College classroom. Huge dynamic there to consider because whether you're studying business, communications, healthcare, legal studies, criminal justice, whatever field you're studying that we offer here at Central Penn, at some point in time, you're going to have to work with someone from a different background, different lifestyle, different culture, different mindset, different upbringing. So getting these experiences now in college through these classroom discussions, through the activities with the different students that we have here at our school are gonna help better prepare you for that future career once you're out there in the real world, okay? So keep that in mind when you're looking at colleges as well. Not just what are they providing to you in the classroom, but look beyond that. What are some of the intangibles? Some things you really can't replicate. Some experiences you really can't get anywhere else. These are things you want to consider when you're choosing that next step for your education. So, we're almost back to the ATEC building. Tour is wrapping up here shortly. And we've walked quite a little bit of distance here. I'm starting to get a little hungry. So you can probably guess, our next place we're gonna check out is our on-campus cafeteria, okay? now. Like I shared, I've been a student here, and as a staff member now, I have eaten at the cafeteria since I've been here as a student in 2009. I love the food, and I'm gonna save a little bit of surprise as to who the food is prepared by until we get closer to the location. So now we're out front of ATEC again. You should recognize this pretty familiar to you. We were in the lobby just a few short moments ago. Now we're gonna go into the bottom third floor of ATEC. Again, looking both ways, we have B Street, right in the heart of campus. Good to go. Still a beautiful day. Sun's still shining. Still a great day here at Central Penn. Also, take a moment to look. It's going to be a great view of Henzie's Bridge, that $22 bridge. We're actually going to get the view from the ground up. 
just to see how massive this bridge is. Starting to peek through that golden color. Again, just a nice simple loop, easy to navigate campus. And bit by bit, starting to make its way through the trees here. You see across the creek, the underground, we were where we were a little bit ago as well. Again, everything's totally accessible to you. And there it is, Henji's Bridge. Just take a moment to really think about the size of the bridge and the fact that it was bought in an auction for $22. Here's a really good view here. Wrought Iron Bridge right over the creek. And I know without a doubt, you're going to be crossing that bridge here someday with Central Penn. Not just figuratively, but realistically. I mean, some of your classes are going to be right across campus. So, we are now at the third floor of ATEC. We're going to check it out, see what we have to offer here. Right through the doors. All right, so, right here, we have the Central Penn College Conference Center. Now... Businesses, organizations use this space for a number of different reasons, but I have two in particular I like to share with visiting students and families. Former Governor Tom Corbett actually stopped by on campus during his campaign here at Central Penn. Also, Montel Williams held a special town hall meeting, so he's a former celebrity talk show host. Okay, so great opportunity for students to network, make connections with celebrities, pot potential employers, and lawmakers throughout the state because we are very close to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Great opportunity here right next to the state capitol. Right down here, I told you I was getting a little bit hungry. We have our night and day cafe, okay? So we are the Central Penn Knights. Notice the spelling for night, for night and day cafe. Now, here's the surprise I was gonna share with you in terms of preparation of the food. The same people that do the catering for the conference center also provide the food in our cafeteria. So our cafeteria is open seven days a week. Students living on campus will have access to the cafeteria seven days a week with your student ID, ID card you would use to scan into your residence facility. You'd also use that for your meal plan as well. So it's all right there, seamless transition for you. Hot entrees rotating every single day. Maybe you are living on campus, you would also have a student mailbox and this stretches around the entire column here. So letters, packages from home, you all collect these right here. We also have the student court, where you'd be able to purchase t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, sweatpants, pennants, water bottles, all essential pen apparel right here on campus. You can also find it online as well. Now, we're gonna walk right back upstairs, and you're gonna see the recurring theme of the loop, or the figure eight, easy to navigate campus. We're going literally right back to where we pretty much started with the beginning of our tour. Just a few short steps. And here we are, right in the main visitor lobby for the ATEC building. I've been admissions counselor Curtis Volker on this beautiful campus tour for Central Penn College. Hope to see you soon.